bring in people who are better than you at some things, you know, uh, in order to continue to develop and grow. And then that's another big piece, too, is just it doesn't stop once you open your doors. It's a continuous thing. So it's about surrounding yourself with a group of people who support your, your concept and you, you all work well together. Mm-hmm. And then being able to bend a little bit, you know, you're not, you're not, never, you're not always going to agree on everything in business, you know? Yeah. Um, but as long as you have people to, who you can bounce ideas off of, you know, or who just support, you know, the vision yeah. and Honestly. you'll be, you'll be in a good place. Those are great points. And you, you don't want to surround yourself with a bunch of yes men or yes no. women that are just going to go with everything you say, because you want somebody to challenge you and you want somebody to, to think outside of the box and, and disagree with you. And, and, a, and a, obviously in a way that it's beneficial for, for each of you. So yeah. We do a lot of that here, you know, it's Absolutely. great. Some of the most successful business guys or, or business women in the world will tell you that, you know, bringing in people that are smarter than you and, and better than you at things is challenging and difficult at times. But yeah. if you want to go to where you want to go as an organization, you can't be the smartest in all aspects. Absolutely. And I'm also a big fan of the whole why concept. You know, you definitely have to have your why, you know, why are you going to do what you're doing versus the how and the what I'm a big believer in that whole Ted talk. Um, just in terms of ha- 